Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to perform Excel data manipulations. Over here, I have one exercise to create a robot that adds sheet 1, 2, 3, and so forth. The data from an Excel file to a new sheet called Final. All the sheet have the same column headers, name and ID. So the final sheet should preserve the column headers. Assume all the sheets have the same columns. So this n is a variable that can be set to the number of sheets. So let's take a look at the example file. I have sheet 1, 2, and 3. I want to copy all the data into the final sheet. And the final sheet should contain the name and ID. Right? So let's make it simple. First, we use a launch Excel. And I will open the following document. I indicate the path. Remember to remove the double quote. Next. What I will need to do is, I need to read the data, right? So to read the data, I need to ensure that as a human, when I want to read the data, I need to navigate to sheet 1. And I need to navigate to sheet 2. I read the data. Navigate to sheet 3 and I read the data. Likewise, we have to program the same for the bot. So over here, we will use set active Excel worksheet and I will base on the name follow sheet 1, right? But over here, since we have three sheets, it's impossible for me to create sheet 1, 2, and 3. So let's make use of the loop. So by using loop, I will start from 1 and to 3, increment by 1, and it will produce me a loop index. So from here, I bring this up and I change this to worksheet name followed by the loop index. In this case, it will be more dynamic, right? And then from here, after I set active Excel worksheet, I need to read the data. So I will use get first free row. And I read the data. Value of range, start from column A. And at column B. And the end row will be first free row, minus 1. Alright. Then now, we are going to write into a final sheet, right? Let's create a variable for our final sheet. Then we need to add new worksheet and then the new worksheet name we will use final sheet name and we put it as the last worksheet. So over here, this is not correct, right? Because every time we look, we're going to add a new worksheet. And if this sheet is ready as this, we're going to encounter an error. So how can we check whether our existing file have this worksheet? We can make use of get all Excel worksheets after we launch the Excel file. And then we will produce a variable called sheet names. Then we can make use of, of our if condition. If The sheet names contains final sheet name. Then what do I want to do? So this one, let me bring this up. Okay, so if it contains the final sheet name, I would like to ignore, right? If it's not contains, then I want to add a new worksheet. So I bring this up here. Okay, so now after that, we're going to loop and then we are going to use the set 
active Excel worksheet to our final sheet. Afterwards, we are going to let's assume I have this final sheet, right? We are going to write the data into the final here. But when we write the data here, we do not have the column header. So how can we do this? Basically, we can make use of write to Excel worksheet. So from here, right, after we add a new worksheet, we can use write to Excel worksheet. Value to write, I will indicate the name. Column A, row 1. And I do the same for my ID. Okay, so now we are going to read, sorry, get first free row. And I want to make use of the same variable name. Okay, so I will use this first free row and then I would like to write the data. I will use write to Excel worksheet. And the value to write will be using the Excel data on a specified cell column at which column i will start at column a at which row first free row all right so let's try to run this Okay, so we have this format, which is not correct, right? Why? Because when we read the Excel from worksheet here, we need to indicate the first line of range contains column name. So after that, I save and let's try to run again. Let me delete this worksheet. All right, so I got the data already. What happened if I try to run this again? Before I run, I would like to add a few data here. Let me put a Mary five. As you can see here, this is not correct, right? Because my existing data is duplicated. So from here, what I can do, first, if I check whether the sheet name, if it contains this final sheet name, I want to, I have two ways, is either I want to delete all the data in my Excel worksheet. So what I can do is I can make use of my delete. I have to read the data after that. I make use of my delete from Excel worksheet. Then I indicate all the entire rows or I want to make it simple. Basically, I just want to delete the sheet. So I just delete this sheet.
and then after I delete, then I will add the new worksheet and I will add these two, right? So from here, if I try to run this, I got the same data. All right. So how can we make you make use of this to make it more dynamic where if I have sheet 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? So from here, what I'm going to do is that get all Excel worksheets here, right? Then from here, since I know my total sheets, I'm going to change my loop index here to sheet names dot count this will tell me how many sheets i have okay so over here if i have one two three four four sheets i will loop it for four sheets right but i only want to look sheet that contains sheet one two three and four and five i don't want to look to process the the final so what i want to do is over here i can add a if condition if the sheet names contains sheet followed by loop index and then I process this so if it contains final then it will not process this record all right so next of course last but not least I want to close the excel Before close, I would like to save the document as well. Okay, so let's try to launch this file. Alright, so as you can see here, the file is not closed, right? We're going to have an issue here. So what I'm going to do, I'm a bit lazy. I don't like to keep Closing manually, I can make use of one more action called the terminate process. So from here, I will put it at the top. I will always ensure to kill my Excel process whenever, before I even start my Excel pro automation. So from here, I'm going to save and let's try to run again. All right, that's all for this exercise. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant update and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.